In 2017, Satsas, the future French Derby and ARC winner, sold right here at the Arcana Yearling Sale. Now, six years later, his first yearlings are getting ready to go through the ring. We talked to his owner, Peter Brandt, and bloodstock agent Michelle Zarolo about his prodigious family and what to expect from those first offspring. My big attraction to him really was that uh, I heard he was very good looking and he was a brother to uh, Sister Charlie. And Sister Charlie, we were campaigning at the time, knew how good she was because she'd run second in the uh, pre dian She um, got into a lot of trouble, was almost knocked down. She looked like she would be absolutely nowhere. And then she came flying and made second, uh, which was, uh, I knew then she was, this had to be a really good horse. When I went to Monceau, the obvious thing was that I was going to look at a brother and it was a fairly easy pick. I mean, he was a very good looking horse. He was very athletic. He was, uh, he was a good mover. The pedigree was, you know, it was a happening pedigree at the time. And by Siuni, it was a sire that I love. We purchased them and I left them there with uh, Jean-Claude Rouget, who, you know, trained him. And uh, he ran a two and three and four and uh, won three group ones, and including the Arc de Triomphe. And, that, and maybe his most impressive race was breaking the track record in the French Derby at a mile and a quarter. I was there at the French Derby, and it was a very, very impressive race. Uh, I know Jean-Claude Rouget thought he was going to run very well, and then, you know, there were some great, you know, horses in there. The, you know, Persian King was the favorite, and there were, you know, a number of really well-bred French horses from the big barns and families in France, uh, as well as from England. And uh, he just ran a powerhouse, you know, he won pretty easily and by a number of lengths, and it was, it was uh, very impressive. Winning the Arc is uh, really one of the, unfortunately I wasn't there because of COVID, but my wife and I, you know, watched it in Connecticut and, you know, we were all dressed up as if we were <laughs> there, but uh, it was a great thrill. I mean, there were, if there was any neighbors close by, they could hear us yelling, that's for sure. You know, I, I think the family is great and they were all really good looking. I'm very anxious to see his babies run next year. I think we bred 12 mares to them because we really believe in them. You know, they all seem to have a great disposition, good mind, easy horses to be around, good looking, scopy, correct, very correct, the way he was. I mean, all in all, it's a good bunch of yearlings. They don't look like they're going to be super precocious, so it's go they're going to cater to a type of buyer. You know, people who want sort of classic horses, uh, but I think they should sell very well. I think they'll make Sotsas proud, and I think they should make Peter proud, and Coolmore. We're a believer, and I, um, the foals are very good looking, and I'm getting very good reports from the French breeders, and very good reports from uh, the Irish and English breeders.